American bombers assemble at a secret airdrome somewhere along the northern tip of Australia. The order of the day, attack. General Royce and General Scanlon in command. One by one, the huge ships take off. Weeks of planning, months of training, now put to the test. Fast pursuit planes roar down the strip and zoom aloft at incredible speed. These are the fighters of the air fleet. Daily they go up and daily they land. From the looks of the bullet holes, some of them have made contact with the enemy. Battle scars that show that American ships are built to take plenty of punishment. Credited with staving off the invasion of Australia, these young pilots know their business. Here's one coming in now. His landing gear jammed by Japanese bullets. He's forced to make a crash landing. Dangerous with any ship, doubly so with a bomber. And he does a perfect job. All hands aboard safe and sound. The pilot is congratulated by the general and mentioned in official dispatches. Only a few repairs are necessary, and the ship will soon be ready to fly again. A thrilling example of how American airmen are rapidly winning the mastery of the skies. <laughs>